If you've been using your inverter for some time, you might be wondering, is everything set up just right? This video will guide you through the most important settings step by step. Let's begin. All right, first things first, let's see how to access the settings menu. And the very first thing you should know is how to properly turn your inverter on and off. Now that you know how to power your inverter on and off, let's take a look at one of the most important settings choosing the right working mode for your system. You can set other time windows like this. All you need to know is the meaning of battery first and grid first mode, then you can set this as you wish. Now, let's look at a critically important step, activating the smart meter. Only systems with an activated smart meter can properly utilize the battery system. A key application of the meter is its export limit function. Next we'll activate this feature typically required when your PV system isn't yet registered with the utility provider. With export limit securing grid safety, we now pivot to the heart of energy autonomy, battery configuration. The next two settings only apply if you have a backup box installed. Always set the off-grid SOC lower than the on-grid SOC. This reserves battery energy to power essentials during outages. Final setting today, AC charging enable. Only active with battery first mode on. It forces grid power to charge your battery, protecting battery health when it struggles to stay fully charged long term. 